everyone, this time it is the destroy on user leave component. This component was added um, quite recently with the rush of headless sessions and headless worlds. It's useful to clean up stuff when a user leaves. I'm going to build an example object, and then we're going to take it to an active headless session where I can leave objects and they won't get cleared up or the, um, destroyed when I leave. And I'll show you what happens when you do have this and when you don't have this. Let's hop into Smooth POV and I'll build a quick example. So, Smooth POV. For this, I'm going to need a couple of things. I'm just going to need a, um, I'm just going to need a dev tool tip. So let me spawn one of those in. I'm also going to grab a shape tip. Actually, no, I'll just do all of the dev tool tip. I think is the dev tool tip. And so we're going to grab a new cube, shrink it down. I'm going to inspect the cube, and then at the bottom of the cube here, I'm going to attach component, and then we're going to go to uh transform destroy on user leave here when destroy on user leave um, is created you'll see here that um, it has a um, target user property and this target user property is the user that it will destroy on if uh, that user leaves the world. You'll see it starts off blank and it might be sort of unclear how to write to it. We're actually going to build a setup which I have an example of in my inventory and I'll put it in my public folder. Um, so I'm going to do this roughly, it won't be as neat as it usually is, um, but the neat one will be in my public folder for you to take a look at. So with this cube in, we're going to need to do a tiny, tiny bit of logic just to wire up to this um, destroy and user leave component. This also shows you how to use kind of target user or user style references with various other components. I'll uh, cover it in those videos too. So uh, let's grab a logic tool tip as well. And then I'm also going to need a button. So we'll do create new object new CY button. And I'm going to parent that button to the box so it moves with the box and then we'll remove grabbable on the button so it can't be moved around next we need to get the um, event that happens when a button is pushed for that we need to grab the newest button here and spawn an interface it's our interface and then we need two logics nodes uh yes two logics nodes so i always forget where this one is um it is in interaction button events i did it the first time that's cool so button events there we go and then we're going to use a right ref um node so right ref is um different from a regular write in that instead of writing an actual value it writes a reference to that value references are a little hard to explain um they are basically like a pointer to the va uh, to the value rather than being the value itself they're powerful because they mean that you don't have a lot of copies of the value around so if you have a really complex type such as a, a user that's a really complicated like system and you don't want to like copy that around within your code so you can use references for that we need one more node which is local user there it is local user. So I'm going to chuck local user into the user. Uh, actually, we'll do this the wrong way around. With write ref, always plug in. Oh dear, I've got the cube. Always plug in the um, output here. This is the the ref you want to write to. Always plug this in first because it will then change this um, brownish line to be the appropriate type of reference. So here on the destroy and user leave component, we're going to put our cursor over the target user where it turns blue grab that and then spawn that in the world and you see it spawns as this user ref card you can then drag this into the user pro property here and you'll see this changes to the same color as the user and now local user will um, correctly go into there so what we do here is when the button is pushed we're going to write the local user into the reference on the destroy and user leaf so if i push this button now You'll see it's written me in with my user ID and my machine ID. That's the setup. I'm now going to um, spawn an example that I did earlier of a little bit more um, time, uh, which I was doing. This component had a bug, which has now been fixed. So this is um, a box, which I call Mr. Deletey, that doesn't delete. And if I take my inspector out and I just uh, clear something, which is I get rid of... I think I had a version that didn't, wasn't cleared, or maybe I cleared it when I spawned it.
There we go. I was bumping it when I was spawning it. So this is called Mr. Delete. That now it does delete because the component is fixed. I uh, built this in a world of Turk and it was quite comical because we were just testing the component out. You'll see in the latest patch notes that this component was uh, fixed. So thank you so much for the team for fixing this. So this one is exactly the same as the box we just built other than um, when I hit click me, it'll then do the name here. So we can inspect this box here and you'll see. Uh, looks like I missed the box and I got a line. Let's try that again. Missed the deleted that doesn't delete, or this time does delete. There we go. Right at the bottom here, user, and that's my name. So it set me appropriately on the destroy and user leave. So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to um, go to a headless session. Uh, there are people hanging out in here, but they're AFK in other worlds. So um, say hello to Veer, Shifty, and Frooks. Uh, they're all uh, guest starring in this video because uh, I needed to use this particular headless session. So I uh, tested it appropriately of this one. So we're just going to ignore them and I'm going to spawn my box, which I then accidentally hit with my cursor. I'm going to do that again just so you see it. It's, uh, I think the way I see, yeah, I see, I'm just hitting it. There we go. Go on, they didn't hit. Here's my box. We've clicked me on it and then I'm going to also spawn just any other object next to it. So I'm going to take this juice box. No, I put the juice box next to it. So now I'm going to click me on the juice box on the box so it registers me as the as the object that should be as the user that should delete this object when I leave, but do nothing with the juice box. And we're gonna leave the world. And then come straight back. Uh where are we? There we are. There we go. I'm going to fly over to where I had that juice box. Uh, there it is. And you'll see the juice box is here, but the box with my name on it is not there. And that's what destroy and use the leave does. I hope that's helpful. You can do it to kind of make systems where, um, where a world will like self tidy up when people leave. Um, and that allows you to uh, keep things tidy. You can also do it sort of things that, that should be cleared up when someone leaves, like if they have like a pet or something in your experience, you might want the pet to be destroyed when they leave, or they've got some armor or some guns, you could add destroy and user leave so that when they leave, any sort of guns or weapons that they left on the floor also delete themselves, uh, other things like that. It's a super useful component. Um, if you combine it with some other things like spawn points, you get into kind of like self cleaning up worlds and I'm doing that for the directory world. So look forward to a video on how that works soon. I will see you next time.